My mom would be so mad if he was stepping on our kitchen counter like that. See, this is a good use of time. What's something that you've been doing while you're at home? I learned how to play Minecraft on guitar. Damn it. Hello, everybody. It is Big Mouth episode. Oh, I love Big Mouth. Oh, that's crazy. We're close on a tangle of This is so cool. Machete hacks through oh, my God. We're close on a tangle of vines when suddenly Machete hacks through them. This is a this is a Big like Mouth table read. Oh, oh Big soon. Mouth table read. I read about this. I've not actually that watched the show, face. but this must be oh, really God. cool if you do, Maury? because you get to see what all the characters look like in real life. What? What is this place? Oh, my. Oh God, Maury, Maury. What, 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 what is it? I'm, I'm awake. Oh God, Maury, Maury. What, 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 what is it? I'm, I'm awake. Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just floating around in weightless blues. I love her. <laughs> you know, we love can't. her. This uh, is uh, so uh, cool. I love you it. Know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh. Mm. You don't. You don't know. Oh, I love her. Ani picks up a large rubber vibrator. <laughs> That's why you got a back. I feel so bad for you guys doing this because I find it so funny, but it's like inappropriate too. <laughs> We love the show. That's a cool way of sharing a little bit from a show, especially an animation that you wouldn't normally see. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh my god, this scene. The voice actors read it live just gives me so much joy. This is um, a live table read featuring the cast and crew of Netflix's Big Mouth, which they recently live streamed on YouTube. Super cool. If buying DVDs were still a thing, I would I would get the director's commentary for <laughs> Big Mouth season three if it included that. Knowing the actor and knowing like other things they've done, like Nick Kroll, you know, in New Girl, he sounds totally different, obviously, because that's his like more normal voice. So it's so cool to see like the voice range that actors can sometimes have. So as you know, people around the world right now, and including yourself, are staying home to practice social distancing. This includes us, which is why this episode looks a little different from our normal YouTubers React episodes. Welcome to my house. I mean, it's good for me. I'm, it's the first YouTubers React video where I'm not horrifically jet lagged. So <laughs> maybe we could do this more often. I don't have to come to LA. Today, we're gonna show you some more examples of the cool things that people are doing while they stay home. And we'll see what you think. All right, sounds Beautiful. good. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, that looks dangerous. Oh my gosh. This is like parkour. All I can hear is the office parkour! Parkour! <laughs> parkour! Hardcore, parkour, hardcore, parkour! I would just yeet myself through that window if I did this. You have to be really bored to do something like this. Or you have to be really talented to do this. Is, oh. it like, is this like an intense game of the floor is lava? <laughs> You should do that. Oh no, he stepped on the MacBook. <laughs> Not the lap! Not the laptop! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, please be careful. Please be careful. Oh no, what? Oh, my mom would be so mad if he was stepping on our kitchen counter like that. He's so talented. It better have some kind of jazzy ending out. Oh, oh, what are you doing? You mad lad. Oh my god, the backwards, the 180. Oh god, that was so stressful. No, 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 backflip. I feel a backflip. No! I mean, at least he landed it. Stuck the landing. Oh. Got the Purell shot. Wow. Uh, incredible. At least he's safe at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I wouldn't call that safe. <laughs> Most normal people play like video games or like maybe go out in their backyard and play outside, but this guy. Talented people do this. Ooh, this is my jam. Yes. A Brady Bunch string octet. <gasps> Are they on a Zoom call? And they're playing music. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I'd ask if I could join in, but it would sound like cats are being murdered. See, this is a good use of time right here. How is it all in sync? I feel like technology is so laggy that there has to be one person that's just off. Hey, this is how bands practice during <laughs> quarantine. Yes, Bean! Yes! Yes! I loved everything about that. Every single second about that. I'm just like, I'm gonna lay back and just let this play. That was amazing. I'm playing a lot of Animal Crossing and they're out here being so talented. 
I need to step up my game. I played violin in I played high cello. school in the orchestra. She played cello, so yeah. That was really cool to see. I didn't know people were doing that. Me either. It's like a beautiful thing in some ways. Like we're all in it together and we can support each other like by doing stuff like that to make you smile. With the Gaffigans. Dinner with, dinner with the Gaffigans. The Gaffigans. The Gaffigans. Is he an American comedian? Dinner His face is Gaffigan. ringing a bell. <laughs> is this just Jim Gaffigan eating dinner? The He's wearing a Tullamore Dew shirt. That's my whiskey boy. I like this song. Dinner with the Gaffigan. I want to eat with them. <laughs> oh my God. This kid looks just like him. Ooh. Fancy <gasps> is that pizza? Katie, what's under your hand? Looks like a... Chuck E. Oh, Cheese pizza. Right. There's Mo Genie's famous spinach. I'm a little There's confused pizza. as to what's going on. <laughs> Frank Peluso the fourth, another five dollars. Thank you, Frank. Oh, they're getting donations. I'm guessing John, this is a charity John thing then. Hel oh, I was gonna say, what's going on John, right now? Okay, John people are Hel donating. Okay, guys, so he's doing a live. And then, then there's the salad, which only Genie will eat. <laughs> And then there's the pizza that Jim made for his I get no invite. <laughs> goodbye. Are they doing like, like singing goodbye, like the Von Trapp family? <laughs> so this would be nice to watch if you were alone during the pandemic, I guess. So you could have dinner with this family rather than by yourself. That was Dinner with the Gaffigans, which comedian Jim Gaffigan and his family have been live streaming every single day to collect donations for various charities, including the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund for the World Health Organization. Oh, that's, that's cute. Nice. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> I'm like, what are other people eating right now? Cause I'm kind of eating like a nine year old, like I'm eating trash right now. So it makes me feel better that like he's eating peas that may have been frozen, but like also frozen pizza, like it makes me feel a lot better about myself. Hey Uniters, we love you so, so, so much and we wanted to do something special for you while we're all at home in isolation. I love her hair. We are going to have a little dance party for yes. you guys from our homes. We are literally all over oh, the world. Oh, they're doing a choreograph? Oh, this could be cool. We are literally all over the world right now, but let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, everyone's dancing. Literally every single one of these people has better dance moves than me. This is my signature. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Okay, this is not a Zoom call. TikTok time. Oh my God. Never heard this song before. Oh, they're even doing the same dance moves. Cool. I mean, oh. why'd you stop it? <laughs> Jamming. There's always bad things going on. And when we experience it, we kind of feel like no one else is experiencing that. But right now, the entire world is dealing with the same issue. People are realizing that, hey, we're all in this together. And so it's just kind of like a cool thing to see what everyone is doing. As you can see, people are getting pretty creative with this time at home. So we're curious, Ned, what's, uh, what's something that you've been doing while you're at home? Oh, well, you know, I have a two-year-old son, uh, so coming up with lots of fun baby activities. Uh, we have been doing work from home vlogs every Monday on the Try Guys channel, and it's really just kind of slice of life of what we're doing. Filming TikToks daily, every yes. hour. Filming TikToks and YouTube videos and jumping in pools. We've been working on a new series that we're about to release on our channel called Prom Night, so yeah, we've been busy. I've been getting very familiar with the pigeons living outside my apartment window. Uh, this is Paul. I have hopped on that Animal Crossing game. Never played it before. I'm learning League of Legends, Call of Duty. I don't know what's happened to me. And I've recently started watching anime, which is something I have never, I, I literally did, I was like, no, I'm never gonna watch this and now I'm obsessed. I learned how to play Minecraft on guitar because it's got to that level. Damn it. So we're curious if you could walk us through how your content and business has adjusted during this time. Mm -hmm. Um, we had to cancel a lot of collaborations because we didn't want to oh, like yeah. travel all over the place and get stuck. Just been kind of doing our own thing. Yeah, we still do the same thing, just limited. On, I believe, March 11th, when Tom Hanks was diagnosed and the NBA was canceled, that's when it really hit the fan. Our editors had already been working from home at that point. 
Um, we're, we have a staff of about 16 people, so it's, you know, it's not a large office. It's large enough that we felt like we'd be putting people in danger. I've already found a lot of ways to create like a borderless community in terms of like my editors are in the UK and it's like, I think we're already in a good place to be connected. Work-wise, I film, record, and edit everything myself, so not much has changed for my YouTube channel, though some spawn deals have fallen through and also stuff like VidCon got cancelled. So there's little things, but other people are like losing their jobs or they're going out to work in hospitals where they're risking their lives. So I consider myself super fortunate to be in this position. And we feel really lucky to be in the position we are to like work from home and still make money, but like our hearts and minds go out to like the people that are losing jobs right now or are really struggling like where they're at in life because of this. So 100%. it's crazy. This is changing the entire world. Well, as you probably know, YouTube launched a global campaign using the hashtag stay home and hashtag with me. So some of the videos that we showed you today are part of that campaign, but we also wanted to highlight some of the other cool ways that people are spending their time while they're at home. So overall, what do you think about how people are spending this time? I mean, I think it's a really amazing communal shared experience. It's intensely tragic and difficult and there's so much uh, shared feelings of hopelessness and anxiety, uh, but the fact that content can also speak to that shared experience to help uplift people I think has been an amazing thing to see. Through this, they will keep with some of the things they're already doing, like showing the cold readings and that sort of thing. I think, you know, they might catch on that it's a good idea to stick with. Entertainers will always find ways to entertain, no matter, you know, what kind of production they're doing, whether it's interviewing their kids or interviewing Jessica Alba, you know? It's like everyone's finding ways to still feed their passions, but do it in a new creative and innovative way. So finally, with the videos that we showed you today, so many celebrities and just regular people are finding ways to utilize platforms like YouTube in new ways. As someone whose career has been heavily involved with YouTube, how do you feel seeing how it's used during this time by so many people that maybe didn't realize YouTube can bring people together like this? I mean, honestly, I love the fact that people are going to YouTube because we've been on YouTube for so long and it's been a huge part of our lives. And I think this is this may be like an eye opener for like traditional media because you know, here we are like creating content still. We don't need a huge studio or we don't need a bunch of crew and people to make content that people will enjoy. For me, it doesn't matter who makes content. If people are going out there and they're enjoying themselves, then good content is gonna come from that. More people streaming, more people making YouTube videos. For me, that's more things I can watch. Hell yeah, I'm gonna support the hell out of that. The idea of social media and videos is what's like keeping us all connected. Like YouTube and TikTok and all these different platforms are like the backbone of why people still have entertainment. People are trying out live streaming for the first time. They're trying out new skills. So overall, we're all gonna come out of this as different people in one way or another. It's wonderful to see uh, people understanding what YouTube can do to connect the world and to make the world a better place. So I say, the more the merrier. Thanks for watching and supporting your favorite creators at this time. Subscribe to everyone featured in this episode. Links are down below. Hey guys, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for continuing to support us as we try out some new things with our own content to keep up during this time. And a huge thank you to all the YouTubers who've shot this episode with us. To support them, click those links down in the description. Bye guys.